So I begin by brushing through my eyebrow hairs with an eyebrow brush and then I'm just taking a small angled brush which I'm applying the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in shade Medium Brown and I'm just lightly filling out the bottom of my eyebrow and guiding it along the bottom and then I'm going to start to gradually fill it upwards as I spread the product across the eyebrow and you never want too much of this on there because it is a really pigmented product and a little goes a really long way but I'm just trying to make it look a little bit more natural rather than caking it all on there so it may take a few minutes just to blend it out evenly and then after I'm happy that it is blended out into the main point of my eyebrow I'm going to drag it down and try to extend the towel of my natural brow a little bit just to enhance the whole eye and facial features. At this point I tend to go back to the first point of the eyebrow and turn the brush upwards and flick the angle of the brush upwards so it gives a more defined fluffy look at the front and then a more sleek look towards the end of the tail and then I just brush through my eyebrow hairs again making sure that I'm happy with how everything is looking and next we're moving on to concealer and I found that this is a really good hack for neatening up the eyebrow and it gives a real illusion that you your eyebrows are basically pristine and everything is basically perfect so I'm just taking a little bit of concealer on this brush and just lining the bottom of the brow and dragging it down and then I'm just going to quickly blend that onto the eyelid so I'm going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow quickly and then we're going to be moving on to BB creams so as a makeup base I'm going to be using this cream by Ramel London in the shade Very Light and I'm just applying that on my face with a damp beauty blender and I'm stippling this in the main areas that my pores are most visible so around the t-zone and on both sides of my nose and as I blend this out I'm then going to be concentrating this on the center of my face like I said and down my nose and this does give a very very light coverage um, but today I am going to be wanting a little bit more coverage so I am going to be going back Back in again with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade 1C0 Shell I do believe so this is just stippled all over the skin and it gives a really nice dewy finish but I want a more matte finish for today so I am moving on to foundation so I'm just making sure everything is blended so for today's eye makeup look, I am going to be using the 35K Colour Coffee Palette by Morphe Brushes. And I did show you guys um, what shade I was applying from the palette, but unfortunately my camera wouldn't replay the footage back that I had when I selected what shade I'm using. So this one is just the pale pastel kind of shade within the palette, and I'm just using a flat eye brush to apply this to the base of my eyelid. And I adore this palette because all the colours are so pigmented and they're so gorgeous. And then I'm going back in with the Morphe brushes 3 M330, I think it is. Um, I crease blending brush and just making sure that there are no harsh lines. Then I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette brush that comes within the palette and I'm just using the smaller end of the brush and I'm applying this darker shade in the crease um, all the way along and it's a nice coffee shade and it's absolutely gorgeous so I'm just extending this across the eye and doing a small wing and then I'm going to be taking that main fluffy brush again and blending this all out into the crease making sure that it is all looking very smooth so I just carry on buffing this into the eye crease until I'm happy with how it's turning out. And then I'm sticking with the same brush and I'm applying this peachy toned shade all over the eyelid, just over the top. And I am basically joining all of the shades together which we have going on. And it just gives a very subtle daytime makeup look. And then I'm going back over again to the smaller brush from the Urban Decay palette. And I'm taking this burnt orange chocolate kind of shade and smoking this out underneath my eye on the lower lash line and I'm also going to be applying this very same shade with the same brush back over the eye crease again just to join the whole look together. Then sticking with the same Urban Decay brush I'm turning it over on its other side which is a really big fluffy brush so I'm making sure that I really smoke that out under the eye so it's not looking too harsh and I really want the crease to be blended in all together so I'm just working on that until I am happy. 
So that is the first die finished, so I'm quickly going to go away and do the second die. And this is what it now looks like with both eyes done. So I'm taking a light fluffy brush and I'm using my one from the Bundle Monster set and I bought mine off of eBay uh, quite a few years ago now. And I'm just using the Bourgeois Paris bronzer in 51. And this is quite a worn toned bronzer, so perhaps it wasn't the best idea to contour with. It is quite a worn one and I do usually like to contour with a more cooler bronzer. Um, I usually use the Anastasia Beverly Hills one um, in the contour kit in shade Fawn but today I thought I would go for a more warmer look and then I'm going to be moving on to contouring my nose and today I'm taking the Morphe brushes one inch contour brush in M458 and I use the exact same bronzer to do that and then I am going back in with a blush by Rimmel London and as you guys know, if you've watched my videos before, that you will know I'm not much of a blush person. But today I decided to warm this look up a little bit because it is autumn and I'm kind of incorporating cool and warm tones together. So I mix the lightest and the darkest shade from the palette in here together and just apply that onto my cheeks. And then for mascara, I use the Baby Doll Mascara in Black by Yves Saint Laurent. And for lips, I am moving on to the Pure Colour Lip Liner Pencil. And this one, I think this is in the shade Nude. I'm not too sure. I don't think it has a name. But if I can find it, I'll link it down below for you guys. But it's really affordable. Um, it was only like a couple of pounds for New Look, which I picked up. And I have absolutely been loving it to apply it as a lip base for the next lipstick that I am going to be applying over the top. And then for a matte finish, I am using the NYX Launch lingerie liquid lipstick in the shade cool sit for a very cool tone look so this is what the lips are looking like with both products on and i absolutely love this combination So now that my mascara has set, I'm going to be taking my eyelash curler and I believe I picked this up from Superdrug also a long time ago but it still works fine so I'm just using that to curl my lashes and I'm going to be doing this on both eyes and then I think that is pretty much everything done. So the next thing that you will see is the eye makeup and then I just want to give a quick mention to something. So this is the very subtle warm daytime look and I think it's just perfect for this time of the year. And I quickly just wanted to show you guys this Beauty and the Beast theme choker. And this was actually handmade and sent to me by Alicia, who goes by the handle at T underscore ninety ninety two on Instagram. And if you guys are interested in any homemade gifts, she does other things as well, but her chokers are amazing. And she has a lot of Disney themed and cartoon and movie themed chokers. So if you guys are interested, please go and show her account some love over Instagram. I will link her handle down below for you guys to go and check it out. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial then make sure you give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe as well. It's completely free and I'd love to have you over here. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.